so many people use computers or laptops in their household, we thought we'd go on a road trip to my place, show you how my wife Erica and I use a computer in our household. And one of the things about the computers that we use is that it's a touch computer. You know, so many people are used to touching the screens on their mobile phones, but we're starting to see this built into computers as well. In fact, with the advent of Windows 7, it's built in touch support to a whole new level. This is the HP Touch Smart PC. It's the 300 model, and as you can see, it's a 20 inch screen, but it's actually got the whole computer built right into it. If you take a look on the back here, we have the whole speaker system built into it. We've got a DVD player built into it, and all the computer guts are essentially built into the screen. And as I mentioned, rather than using that keyboard, I have the ability to touch the screen in order to have access to it. Well, where they take that one step further is they actually built in applications. I can press the touch smart button here and that opens up a complete touch interface that gives me access to a whole bunch of different things, including take a look here, my music. It even accesses all of my different photos and we can do things like the built-in webcam here. My wife and I use this system in order to leave each other messages. And as you can see, Erica's got a message for us here today. Let's have a listen. Hi, babe. Don't forget about the dinner party tonight at Christine's. Um, she asked me to bring a dessert and I didn't have time to do anything, so could you please prepare those delicious vanilla cupcakes? I left all the ingredients in the recipe box. And also, don't forget to print out a map because she's in the new place. Thanks, see you later. Well, there you go. It looks like we're gonna be making some vanilla cupcakes. I love that. And you can see here, this is a great way for Eric and I to be able to communicate. It turns the computer system almost into an appliance that's in the kitchen, but it does a lot more than just let us leave messages for one another. I'm gonna show you here, she made reference in that note to something called the recipe box. Well, that's an application that's built into the TouchSmart PC. If I open it up here, you'll see that we have all of the recipes that we use in our house. If we wanna add a recipe, we simply Simply click add new recipe. The great thing is you can also browse for recipes online. As soon as you find something that you really want to try, you simply just say extract recipe. It takes all the ingredients and all the instructions and now puts it into our program. For desserts, we're going to click on the vanilla cupcakes and here it is. All of the instructions that I'm going to use today in order to make vanilla cupcakes. The ingredients and the directions. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, well these cupcakes are underway. It almost looks like I'm gonna actually succeed making these. So let's get back to the TouchSmart PC. We've looked at leaving messages for one another. We've looked at following recipes. Well, it's got all the features of a regular computer as well. So we can get access to downloaded movies in our video collection or recorded TV shows, even movies that we've taken on family vacations. If we go into the music section here, I can click in and we can look at my entire music collection. And if I click on an album, we've got all the different songs that you can play. Let's scroll past music here to photos. If I click on that, it shows me all the photos that I have loaded on the computer or even on my network drive. And if I wanna take a look at them, I just click on the thumbnail and there you go. I can do some basic editing, such as taking out red eye or cropping the photo, but I can also play a slideshow. I can upload them to photo sharing sites such as Snapfish. It's really simple to do and it's got everything in one place. There's so many applications built into the TouchSmart software. Let me show you another one that I liked. This one's called Notes. We showed you the video message that Erica left me earlier. This is a way to write quick notes on a message board that both of us can check just at a quick glance. You can also record messages as well. Here, we'll record one back to Erica. Hi Erica, it's AJ. I took Frank for a long walk in the park and he did his business, so he should be good for the rest of the night. And now all I do is simply save that message, done. And there it is, and it just shows up on our page here. So when she comes in, she'll see that, click it, and she'll be able to press play. Simple, done, and on the board, ready for her to check it out. I'm also gonna show you a program here called Canvas. It takes all of your photos and it lets you use the touch screen to do some creative things. I can really show the multi-touch feature. I can spin them, I can make them smaller, I can make them bigger. Once I've got something that I think kind of looks cool and creative, as far as I think it does, I can save it to a collage. And it's gonna make one photo in here that's a collage. It's kind of a fun way to have access to your different photos. 
And behind all of this touch technology is a full-fledged computer system. So if we just minimize this software for a second, we once again have the Windows 7 access. It comes with the wireless keyboard built into it. It has the wireless mouse that comes with it if you want to use it like a regular computer. It's got a 500 gigabyte hard drive, 1080p in terms of screen resolution. Our model came with four gigs of RAM. That's what makes it so fast. It's got lots of connectivity built into it as well. We can hardwire it to the network. We've got different USB ports. We can connect uh, video into it. And it also has a five-in-one card reader so that you can put your film from your digital camera straight into the computer. Well, these cupcakes turned out pretty darn good if I do say so myself. I wonder if uh, Erica will agree. One last thing, we have to print out the instructions to where we're going tonight, so I've loaded those up in Google Maps. And now by clicking print here, it automatically, because we're wirelessly connected to our network, sending the print job down to the den, that's where the printer is, in my office. We'll pick those up before we actually leave the house today. And this is just an example of how people are starting to use computers in their household. We're taking it to another level because we're using the TouchSmart 300 PC that has the touch interface on it. So let's pack up these cupcakes and head out of here. I wonder if she'll notice one missing.